Welcome back to the workshop. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some small little upgrades to our Bamboo Labs P1S. We got the Big Tree Tech Panda touch screen that we're going to be adding to the printer. Got some LED lights that we're going to be adding throughout all our printers today. Um, we got a different type of mounting harness than what the actual um, Panda Touch comes with. So it's not going to be the longest video, but I think it would just be kind of fun to do some changes. So let's do this. This thing is just absolutely beautiful and it's completely magnetic. There is a spot for battery powered, but we're going to be directly um, wiring it into the printer. And we're going to be doing that with, there is a USB cable. Now this is the original harness. We are not going to be using this, so let's get that out of here. instructions and a cool little sticker now the one thing I'm super excited about is going to be the LEDs that we're going to be putting into printer fully magnetic you got your adapters this is really going to step up the game because the original lighting that comes in a bamboo printer is not the greatest. So let's do this. All right, now we're going to be running the wires for the Panda Touch. Um, you're going to take your USB and you're going to notice I didn't cover back up this section of the printer. Um, when we changed out the LED um, because there's a USB port so we're just gonna adapt and plug right in and then we're gonna run our wire through the top so that we can connect it to the screen and to the new um, harness that we printed out for it All right, so right off the bat, there is this little piece of tape on the front. So I'm gonna be taking this off because this is where our light unit that's already stock inside of the printer is already just kind of hiding. This is not the easiest to get off. So you don't wanna just yank it. You kinda wanna take it slow because we don't wanna pull out anything that that we're not wanting to mess with. There we go. And then right here, you're gonna see there's two little cables that go right in. That is where our lighting unit is. So we're gonna disassemble that. We're just gonna kind of push that off to the side. Now with the big Tree Tech Panda Touch, it comes with our little uh, cord adapter. So that's going to go in first, right in place of where the old one went. <laughs> that's what happens when you put it in backwards. All right. So now the actual LED is magnetic. So it's just going to sit right at the very front. Now we're gonna take that cord and there's a little hole off to the side of the unit. So we're gonna feed it up into that hole. And then we're gonna take our adapter and we're gonna plug into it. Now they do not recommend plugging the original light 
back into it because it goes over on the wattage. Um, so we just don't want to damage the printer in any way, shape, or form. And then once that's put together, there's some sticky tape on the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to just install it off to the top there. Now, your cutter is right here where it cuts the filament. So we want to make sure that those wires are kind of tucked away. We don't want those wires to get in the way of potential performance issues later on down the road. And we're just going to take our tape that we originally took off and we're going to make sure that it goes back on. And there is our LED uh, upgrade. All right, so next thing what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the front screen. Now we are going to have to unplug and detach, which these are never easy once they go in. I'm always scared I'm going to break it. Now this is our new harness. We're just going to let that hang. We're going to plug our screen back in. Now they do not make this easy. Okay. Thanks for watching me struggle, everyone. All right, so now this is just going to be a perfect fit. So now we're just gonna let that sit. After I have the screen put on, we're gonna run our wire through. Now what I strongly recommend is taking the screws that came with the Panda Touch and running them through and creating the threads prior to, it will make your life a lot easier. Because with PLA, all you have to do is um, it's soft enough where it'll create its own threads. Um, so now we're going to take our USB type C. We're going to plug it in to our plate, our base plate. And then we're going to kind of work our wires around and get it pushed on. And then we're going to screw it down. So the entire screen is magnetic. So it can be used with the battery and you can kind of walk around with it which I'm probably not going to be doing that because where all my printers are, they can all, like, they're just going to be right where they're going to be, so. Now, it'd be good if you had, like, printers in multiple locations in your house. Now this print is tight enough where you probably don't need to screw it down, but we're gonna screw it down anyways. I mean, when you have tolerances really high and it makes it a heck of a lot easier to, to kind of just that stuff, just kind of stay where it's at. That one's not biting. There we go. So now that is done, so our screen should just magnetize right to it. Now this should just go right back to where it was. Now we got our touch screen and our regular screen. 
just in case there's a firmware update, we still, we're not taking away the original bamboo screen. All right, so we got it all plugged back in. Now it's time to turn it on and see if everything works. So it's definitely kicking on. All right, so now we're gonna ch test that light. I mean, look how much brighter that is. That is 10 times brighter than the original. That looks so good. All right, if you made it through the entire video, thank you so much. Thanks for coming along on the journey of updating and upgrading some of my printers. Um, it wasn't an entire video of like the basic breakdown of the Panda Touch. If you want to see that, let me know. Um, I can definitely make one of those and how it connects to multiple printers all at once. Um, if you like these kind of videos, you know, drop it down in the chat that you like it. Um, I can make more videos like this. And thank you guys so much for subscribing. Have a wonderful day.